All right, so the next step in our home shower renovation project is to remove the trim piece. This is a Moen Posi Temp trim piece um, that was installed in the with the shower insert, and we're going to get that out of there before we begin demoing and taking out the shower insert itself. So that'll be in the next video. But right now we need to prep this and take this piece out. Um, I did a separate video on how to replace this if you're just looking to replace the trim piece, so check that out if you're interested. Um, but Here's how it works. You're gonna take the handle off. Um, in theory, it, it's pretty simple. We've got a, an Allen wrench and a hex screw um, that sets that handle in there. You can see there's an underside shot there for you. Um, and again, in theory, it's pretty simple to do. It should just um, unscrew. However, if it's been in there a couple of years, it might be jammed up, so you might wanna spray it with some lubricant. Um, if that doesn't work uh, and you do feel like it's uh, stripped out or getting to that point, you might want to uh, cut off the end of your Allen wrench with a hacksaw and put it into your drill bit. That way you can provide a little more pressure if you're going upward. Now, I didn't have to turn off the water for this particular removal piece. You might have to, so you'll um, definitely want to be careful there. Uh, just to remove the trim piece, I did not have to shut, shut off the water. Um, that didn't work. I couldn't get that hex bolt out of there, that hex nut, so or that hex screw. So next I'm going to take a Phillips head screwdriver, and I'm going to kind of put it up in there. With very, very gently give it a few taps. Look how I'm positioning and supporting the handle. If you just if you don't support it, you just hit it with the hammer to try to bite into that um, hex nut. You might damage the internal parts of your valve. So be really careful there. That did not work for me. So next I'm going to try... A, uh, just a regular drill bit. It's pretty small enough and the idea is to put it in your drill and in, in reverse setting in a very low setting kind of put some pressure on it just like that and then you're going to gently back it out and that might be enough to give a get a bite into that stripped out hex nut if you're having problems removing that. That did not work for me so several things here you could try. Um, by the way, you could wiggle it to see if indeed the, the hex nut is coming out. Wiggle that handle gently. There should be more play in the handle if you feel like it's coming out, and but you're not sure. You could, of course, shut, shut off the main water supply and then have the ability to turn that knob or that handle upside down for better access. Um, I, again, I kept the water on. Um, anyway, I was finally able to get the hex nut out of there. You can see it just fell out. Uh, let me show you how I did that or explain how... I did that. So the, what worked for me, um, if you don't have the right Allen wrench size and you do believe it's stripped out, um, what worked for me was to take a uh, drill bit, not the Phillips head, but the flat head drill bit, a small, the smallest one you could find and as narrow as you can find. You can see I've got mine right there and it's got a really sharp edge to it. Now I took my hammer and I took that drill bit and I gave it a few good hits. There we go, you could see there. And what that did was the edge of the drill of the drill bit, that flathead, dug into kind of the, the stripped out hex screw, if that makes sense. And then I put the drill bit back into my drill and positioned it at an angle and very slowly in reverse on a low setting on my drill applying pressure to the valve. So I've got a lot of pressure there hold uh, supporting that the top of that handle so I don't damage any valve parts, right? And I'm gonna back that out. And what that did was uh, was able to bite into that hex screw and back it out and allowing me to remove the handle. So that took an unf uh, fortunate, unfortunately a, a, a long time, let's say, a lot more than I planned for. Um, but I ultimately was able to to get that out, which is the point, the purpose, and good news. Um, so now what we're gonna do is uh, take out those uh, the the plate that there's two really long screws attaching that holding that plate in there. Um, you could take out the plastic parts first. There are three plastic parts you're gonna um, back out, but uh, I chose to take out the um, escutcheon um, screws first. So you can see me here. I am backing those out. Pretty simple there. I just used my drill bit. You could use a really long screwdriver as well, um, and they are they're quite long. Those screwdrivers or those screws are quite long, so you'll you'll be you know turning them a little bit. Um, but that's going to loosen up that plate. Now, if it doesn't loosen up, that there there might be a line of caulking that you'll have to cut with a utility knife all the way around. Um, if it was installed correctly, there should be a bead of caulking um, securing that so that no water enters. Now the underside does not have any caulking. There should be a, a hole on the underside of that plate so that when water comes down, it kind of drops, trips out, and doesn't get um, doesn't get trapped. Okay, so next we're going to take out 
this little black piece this is the handle adapter piece and there's a, a, a screw right in the center there that is holding that in and there's a lot of um, it's not tension but it's it's um, it's pressure it doesn't just come right out there's def, there's there's something that there's some resistance so to speak. Um, so I was a little worried about that if that was going to, you know, break a water seal or something, but it did not. Um, the most important thing, if you're taking this out and leaving your water supply on, do not mess with the little metal. You see the little metal ring uh, right in the middle there. It's not a ring. It's a um, little metal piece that is actually part of the valve. If you turn that, that's what turns your water on. So don't mess with that at all. You're just going to be removing um, three pieces, the black piece, and then two white pieces, and that's it. Um, we've got our new trim piece um, ready to go, but we'll put that aside because this is what the point is before we demo our shower and get that out of here. We need to get that trim piece out. All right, so that's it. We're going to leave the shower head up there installed for now until we get the shower insert out of there because as I unscrew things, I want to be able to contain any water drippage that might happen. So the next video, we're going to be getting rid of the actual shower insert. So stay with me.